next direction I want to go in. Right. And I said, you know, in my mind, I'm like, maybe I, I, I blew my opportunity, uh, you know, to work in media because, you know, I've been out of it for, at this time, it was two years. I'm like, maybe, I, you know, I can't get back in. Mm. Um, so that's when I applied to the IRTS program. Okay. Um, the, the email came in our, our school email, which no one checks. So I um, I applied, and I didn't really think anything of it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it just it was just a couple of essays at first. Right. So I didn't really think of think much of it. I, I feel like I can write pretty well. So um, next thing you know, you get the email saying, "Oh, you made it to the next round." There you go. And then you get the phone interview, mm -hmm. and then I'm on the phone with Lauren from the program. And I am like completely like nervous because I'm like I you know I'm I'm right. like I don't know this is like my shot yeah this is like <laughs> a huge opportunity right here nervous right. is all get out right and I think I I think I bomb and I think I do terribly oh. terribly and um <clears throat> I just didn't like how I didn't let that uh you know I didn't like how that felt right mm -hmm. so I um. They had their event at um, Cox Media Group. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a maybe a couple of weeks after my interview, and I showed up because their headquarters is in Atlanta. Correct? Yes. Okay. I showed up to the event. Um, I I'll never forget because I I, um, I forgot my shoes, my my dress shoes. I didn't have a car, so I forgot my dress shoes, and somebody let me borrow theirs, and they were like two sizes too big. But you know, I showed up. Because, you know, if it's something that I'm passionate about, I'm going to go get it. And right. I showed up to introduce myself yeah. to Lauren and, uh, you know, Joyce. Just to kind of show them. Just yeah, like, hey. like, uh, like uh, you know, I, I, you know, I want this. Like, I, was, I wasn't playing any games. Right. So. Um, Taking no chances. None. Um, so, uh, in the meantime of all of this going on, <clears throat> I still needed something to do after I graduated from school. Mm -hmm. And the jobs were not coming through. So I applied to grad school. Mm -hmm. um, to, I applied to one. Okay. The one in School of Economics. One in School of Economics. Um, and why specifically, I'm sure you're going to go into it, but why specifically the one in School of Economics? Specifically uh, because they had a program that was a dual degree and uh, the second year was at the University of Southern California, and I really wanted to go Ooh, to LA. <laughs> I'd apply too. Yeah. yeah. The um, the requirements were were crazy strict. Ridiculous. Yeah, they, they were. Um, they needed you to maintain your like a, a 3.5 GPA and, and uh, a bunch of other things, but. Um, I just wanted to go to L.A. Yeah, you're like, so, yo, I can get to and, L.A. and get it paid for. Why not? Why not? And then I also never been out the country before. Oh, ever. hell yeah. So Definitely. I applied and, you know, uh, the London School of Economics is, is one of the top schools in, in the world. Mm. And, you know, I applied. <clears throat> so around the time, um, it was probably like February, March-ish, um, I got my acceptance letter um, from London. Go ahead <laughs> on, Tevin. <laughs> yes, sir. And so I'm already like through the roof. You know, I'm super happy. Right. And then <clears throat> I remember sitting in my room and I just got a phone call from this New York number. And then, you know, it was um, Lauren on the line and she was just like, well, Yo. you know, you, you want to come to New York, you know, to be a part of the program. And so all this oh. happened within within the same couple of weeks, and so you know I'm already like through the roof. Right, because, you're you know, like I'm going to London, oh, then I'm uh, going to L.A. Uh, I'm like everything is set. Like yeah. I'm, I'm New York. I, as soon as I graduate, I'm gonna go home, put my stuff down, and headed to New York. So <clears throat> that's what happened. You know, I, I I got I got into the program, mm -hmm. headed to New York to New York, interned at the uh, the cable TV. Ad Bureau uh, doing multicultural marketing. It was very fun. Mm -hmm. um, it allowed me to meet a lot of uh, great people. Mm -hmm. um, 
And it took me to a lot of different places. Like I, I went to um, the NFL headquarters, oh. and that place was so. It's like right down the street. Yeah. Um, oh, from here? Yeah, it's like right down the street from here. Oh, wow. Um, and like mm -hmm. in the lobby area, they have um, all of the uh, the rings, and you could see like all of the trophies. Yo, the I'm, rings walk, I'm walking in. I'm it's, walking in just to look and take pictures. It's so it was beautiful, right? Um, I also got a chance to go to BET. Okay. Um, and shadow um, the executive vice president of research at BET. Um, so, the, you know, the IRTS program, like, exposed me to a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> after, you know, the program was great. I met a lot of, a lot of amazing people. Uh, it was the best, like, that was one of the best summers I've ever had. Just being in New York paid for all that good stuff. You know? I was gonna say, do you have any one, like just give me one good memory that you like, yo, this is the one thing that you're cool sharing. This is the one thing that I remember most about that summer and why I absolutely loved it. Probably just kicking back with my fellows mm -hmm. in the dorm. Yes, this sir. was around the time when, um, what just came out? It was the uh, Amaretto Ciroc, so we had Oh no. <laughs> yes, and they they um underneath the 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 dorm they just opened the um the liquor store that's like right right next yeah, door they, to it. It was yeah. it was brand new, just opened. All the stuff was very it was cheap. Like the prices were were super low, and we were just we just you know had a good time in yeah. there. Like I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Like I never forget because a lot of those friendships I made there, I still have to still have to this day. To this day, yeah, same here. It's just like man, <clears throat> you get all these people from different walks of life, from different parts of the country, all coming together for this one summer, just having a great time. And like you said, you get to meet people that still to this day that you are just great friends with. Yes, and you know, I'm, I might not see them every day, but they, you know, impact me and have impacted me just so much. Um, but, you know, I, I finished the, the program in the summer and then I had maybe about like a, a month um, between there and going to London. So mm -hmm. I just went home, just recharged my batteries. Right. And then I flew off to London and studied media and communications in London. And that was your first time out the country? Right? Yep. How was that? It was pretty scary. Oh, um, It okay. was pretty scary uh, because... It, Think about going out the country. There, there's such a, uh, a there was a definitely like a, a loneliness there because I don't know anybody. Anybody, right? Um, you know, everybody else is like seven hours away um, by plane. <clears throat> by plane, it was like yeah. seven seven hours away. Um, just by communication, you're like five hours. I'm like five hours ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, while you guys are just getting off of work, it's like one in the morning. Yeah, you going to bed. I'm supposed already to be. Sleep. I'm supposed yeah. to be. I, I'm did, supposed I, to be. I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't, my sleep didn't get adjusted until, until, um, at least three months after. Oh, was, good God. It was terrible. But, oh, um, and then, and then school, I didn't have, um, all of our tests were at the end. So we, in class, it was only 50 minutes. So I had a lot of free time. I had a whole lot of free time. Um, I wish I would have used it more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more. Uh, I wish I would have used it better. Um, but you know, all of it was just a learning experience. Um, I think for me, the biggest experience from there was just to you know learn how to focus yourself and learn that it's okay to be by yourself and alone. Um, as long as you can, you know, you can handle it. Yeah. So it just pushed me through a lot. 